members one and all of the Salivation Nation. Today is Thanksgiving 2022, a day where we get together with family and friends and enjoy and celebrate here in the United States of America all of the blessings that we have in life. And it's hard to do sometimes, especially considering that everybody is in a different station in life. People have different circumstances. There are some that are better off than others in terms of health, finances, uh, family, friends, and just overall well-being. But nonetheless, there's a lot to be thankful for in this country in spite of the bad. And make no mistake, there is a lot of bad going on in this country and, and around the world. And a lot of it is flying in the face of the very ideals that many of us fight for especially in this country, the ideals from which this country was founded. And this day uh, began in history all the way back to 1789. I'm going to be referencing a piece uh, that talks about this in this video. But think for a moment of all the bad things that are going on in your life and, in, uh, and around you and the lives of those around you. We pray for all of those personally that are struggling right now in one way or the other. It could be anything from depression to uh, a real physical um, ailment that could be occurring with health or financial difficulty or just the state of our nation. And we also have violence in many of our cities and we have unrest certainly in our economy. And there's a lot of things that are not going uh, as we would hope in this country and around the world. But nonetheless, uh, we have to take a step back from time to time and be thankful for what we do have, but also to reflect on the way it should be. I'm gonna be referencing a, a piece, a quote from George Washington, President George Washington in 1789, uh, who made a proclamation and they knew uh, at the time, this is the first presidency of the United States, George Washington, having become president uh, in this, just in this year, had, uh, had knew they had done something great. And uh, this is quite something here from what he said in this proclamation. Whereas it is the duty of all nations to acknowledge the providence of Almighty God, to obey His will, to be grateful for His benefits, and humbly to implore his protection and favor. And whereas both houses of Congress have by their joint committee requested me to recommend to the people of the United States a day of public thanksgiving and prayer to be observed by acknowledging with grateful hearts the many signal favors of Almighty God, especially by affording them an opportunity peaceably to establish a form of government for their safety and happiness. Given under my hand at the city of New York, the third day of October in the year of our Lord, 1789. That was from President George Washington. And you don't notice that uninhibited, bold uh, recognition of a mighty creator of God. Uh, that's what it's about, folks. The first Thanksgiving was about being grateful to God uh, here on this new continent on this side of the world uh, in 1620. And George Washington knew it and has taken to mark a day of remembrance. Now it did not become an official holiday on the day that it is now uh, until uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt declared it as such as president. And boy, we have, have we come a long way from then, from 1789 until the 30s when FDR made his proclamation, especially considering what Franklin Delano Roosevelt's policies had proposed that we are still reeling from today. Nonetheless, I'm going to continue reading from a quote from um, Rush Limbaugh's show that he had done on November the 25th, 2009 from this book, The Radio's Greatest of All Time. So as we celebrate th Thanksgiving, remember and appreciate all the freedoms that we enjoy in this country. 
Freedom is why the pilgrims came to America in the first place. And what better representation of freedom would be uh, this eagle on the back of this medal from uh, 2016. Uh, this is a beautiful piece indeed. And I think this is probably one of the best eagles um, ever on a United States coin or medal um, of all time. That's one of the few times the United States Mint has gotten it right, by the way. Uh, just remarkable. Nonetheless, um, so they were in search of freedom, the pilgrim, pilgrims were. They were in search of freedom of religion, freedom of speech, freedom of the press, freedom of assembly, and freedom of enterprise. That's right. In fact, there, from a previous proclamation of video that I had done years ago, we talked a bit about what that uh, freedom of enterprise is. Yes, the pilgrims indeed experimented with socialism and it failed dramatically. America had the kind of freedom the world has never seen before up to that point in time. That was what was exceptional about America. It's not that Americans are exceptional in and of themselves um, uh, as far as, a, or the country. It's about the, the fact that we can uh, excel as human beings under the system of free enterprise. That's remarkable in my view. Uh, so we still have it, um, this freedom of enterprise these days, although it is under assault. In fact, even more so than it was in 2009 when Rush Limbaugh made that statement. So Thanksgiving, this is traditionally the beginning of the Christmas season, um, which is, uh, you know, this that's considered, you know, by many one of the favorite. In fact, there's people and there's Black Friday deals going on even before Black Friday. You might as well call it Black Week. But you know what? In my view, Black Friday matters, you know, because it should be one day, but that's that's a traditional kind of sense. And I think Thanksgiving should be apart from Christmas and uh, and so forth. But that's just my view. But nonetheless, um, all day long, you have, there's, there's something about what this day means for freedom uh, and being thankful for that freedom. And we should work to fight for it. We have to, uh, you know, who was it? I think it was Thomas Jefferson that says, you know, each generation must fight uh, for the cause of freedom and, um, and others as well. You know, each, each generation passes. Uh, if we don't instill and remember history, we are doomed to repeat it. And we must be remember what we have and what this country was founded upon, which is why American history is so important. And, um, so that we can understand the freedoms that we have. We must first uh, work towards those causes so that we can continue to press on. And silver as a metal has been utilized as money for most of our history. And there's freedom in that. There's, with a constrained money supply and money itself being constrained to its constitutional purpose, in that alone is freedom. Silver is the most widely circulated monetary metal in world history. Let that sink in, folks. Silver, the most widely circulated metal for use for currency in the history of the entire world. And I think George Washington knew it and from the beginning, from his birth, as this coin commemorates in 1982, from when he was born in 1732. George Washington, the first, the first to step up as general to defeat the British and at Yorktown, an amazing time in history that was, and to, to all the way from that point to the Treaty of Paris, which recognized 13 individual states, um, more so than an individual country. And that's what this is about. It's about freedom and independence, whether it be states' rights, or more importantly, individual rights. That is the foundation, that is the key for what makes this country great. And in closing, I wanna just extend a an extra multitude of gratitude to you all, because after all, that is my tagline. Thanksgiving is really what this channel is all about. And my appreciation for all of you for taking your time to watch these videos and to engage uh, with this community, and especially this channel, means more to me than you could ever know. And so I, I am so thankful for all of you for this journey that I've had on this platform for almost 10 years now. So again, 
a multitude of gratitude to all of you and wishing you and your family and your loved ones a very happy and joyous Thanksgiving season.